What's up? My name is Technoba here for Troubleshoot, and today I'm back with another video. So recently I upgraded the RAM in my computer from 2400 to 3600 RAM. I have a Ryzen 3900X inside of my computer, and I was very curious to see whether all of the claims about having faster RAM timings will actually mean anything for my computer. The RAM that I bought was 4000, and I'm not able to reach speeds like that. Why? Well, the Infinity Fabric, which is linked to your memory speed, should have a ratio of 1 to 1. A RAM stick with a speed of 4000 MHz is only operating at 2000, but it's doubled. So your Infinity Fabric should reach 2000 for it to be a perfect 1 to 1 ratio. However, the Infinity Fabric on my Ryzen 3900X only goes up to about 1800, meaning the maximum that I can use is 3600 MHz RAM. So instead, I've simply just tuned my timings. Regardless, enough about me, what exactly does using faster RAM inside of a Ryzen PC actually mean for real world performance in both games and benchmarks? Well, that's exactly what I set out to answer today. In this video, you'll see a couple of different benchmarks for each different test or game. There is 2400 MHz mixed, 2400 and 3600. 3600 is my newest and fastest RAM and they're all the same brand. Previously, I had four 16 gig sticks. Now I have four 32 gig sticks. And because they arrived in two separate shipments weeks apart, I had a mixed setup for quite some time. So the timings were off quite a bit and it was running at about 2400 MHz. If you're running four or two of the same RAM sticks, you should be looking at the second benchmark, which is the 2400. That's with this new RAM that I simply just lowered the clock speed in the BIOS. Then 3600 is again the new RAM, everything exactly the same, just a faster speed. So the one with mix was purely just out of curiosity. You'll only be focusing on the last two, 2400 versus 3600. The timings are exactly the same. CL17 212139. Cool, with all of that tech stuff out of the way, let's start with some synthetic benchmarks. I ran 3 Mark Time Spy, and on my 10 DTI, it did pretty well. Test 1 and Test 2 are both GPU tests, and hence saw very little difference. There was a 1-2% FPS loss compared to my mixed RAM setup, and basically no difference between 2400 and 3600. The same goes for the second GPU test, and finally, the CPU test of 3D Mark Time Spy was where the real difference was seen. Jumping from my mixed setup with different timings to a perfectly timed CL17 2400MHz setup, it jumped about 5% in performance. Then when I clocked it up to 3600, I saw a further increase up to about 19.37% from the original, resulting in a jump from 44 to 53 average frames per second. The 2400MHz RAM got me about 46.8. So that's a whole extra 7 frames. Then the 3 d Mark PCIe test had absolutely no difference. I ran this just out of curiosity. Then Unigen Heaven DirectX 11 on extreme settings between 2400 and 3600 saw an increase of 9.63% in average FPS, resulting in a jump from 144 to 158 FPS. The total 3 d Mark score was 9505 and it jumped to 9886 when I clocked it up to 3600 from 2400. The GPU score gained about 200 points, but I think that's within margin of error. However, the CPU score gained a whole 1,700 points, quite a bit. So enough about synthetic benchmarks, what about real game performance? Well, CSGO from 2400 mixed to 2400 with better timings saw about a 10% FPS increase. However, when I switched from 2400 to 3600 MHz RAM, I saw a huge jump from 260 FPS to 298, whereas when I had mixed RAM, I was getting about 236. That's a full 26.26% increase in average FPS, which is actually incredible. Unlike CSGO, Cyberpunk 2077 and a couple of other games here are all GPU limited, meaning changing the CPU's performance had almost no impact on the game itself. So Cyberpunk didn't see any difference, neither did Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War or even Call of Duty Modern Warfare. However, when I played Modern Warfare on my mixed RAM setup with bad timings, the FPS was sort of at around 96. However, when I jumped to 2400 or 3600, it stayed at a constant 105. That's about a 9.5% increase in average FPS, which is pretty good. All just from having better timings. I have no idea what the timings were on my mixed RAM setup, but I can assure you that they probably weren't good at all. 
Then Dirt 5 also saw absolutely no change in FPS. From 69 up to 70 FPS, I don't think that's outside of margin of error, so you can go ahead and ignore that. The next really interesting test was the Armour 3 benchmark. From my 2400 mixed to 2400 setup, I saw 29 to 31 FPS, a full 6% increase. However, when I increased the RAM to 3600 MHz, it jumped all the way up to 38.5 average FPS from 29.6, a full 30% increase in FPS just by increasing the RAM's frequency by 1200, i.e. raising the frequency by 50%. That's really great. That's something that I was expecting as Armour 3 is super taxing on your CPU. From 29 to 38 FPS, it makes it quite a lot more playable when in taxing situations. Something like this, where the FPS jump is so drastic, is probably a reason that you choose to upgrade RAM from 2400 to 36 or another slower number to another faster number. So I'm pretty sure that's about it for this video. Did I see an increase in game performance? Well, absolutely, especially in CPU limited games rather than GPU limited games. If you have an insane GPU and your CPU is falling behind, then RAM might be something you wanna upgrade before upgrading your CPU. That is assuming it's on the much slower end around the 2000 megahertz mark. If it's anything above 3000, upgrading probably won't net you too many extra FPS. So is a jump from 2400 to 3600 worth it on a Ryzen 3900X? Well, absolutely in my opinion. Is a jump from 3200 to 3600 necessary? Well, I don't think you'll be netting anywhere near as much extra FPS, so it's probably not worth investing in it too much, especially with DDR5 RAM around the corner, and as far as I've heard, the next generation of Ryzen processors. But anyway, that's about it for this video. Hopefully you found something useful in it. My name's been taken over here for a troubleshoot, and I'm back. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Ciao.